With a population of approximately 72,000 people, James City County continues to be a desirable place to live and work. Your county government strives to meet the demands placed on a growing community while maintaining a high quality of life. Fiscal year 2016 was no exception, and here's a look at last year's achievements and challenges. James City County facilities are instrumental in providing its citizens as well as its visitors with exceptional services, one of which includes the demand for quality water supply. We are in the Five Forks Water Treatment Facility. We are so proud of this facility and what it does for James City County. It enables us to have water, it enables us to treat water that we have in James City County and get it out to all the citizens in our community. The Five Forks Water Treatment Facility provides many areas in the county with clean water access, making it one of several key assets for the James City Service Authority. In FY16, Standard & Poor's issued the JCSA with a AAA bond rating. As a citizen of James City County, what this means is that it gives us the ability in the Service Authority and James City County in order when we refinance bonds it brings your tax dollars down because we're saving its money in the bank in the long run for the citizens of James City County. As Vice Chair for the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission, Chairman Hipple supports regional efforts in transportation and road construction which benefits James City County. The Monticello and News Road addition was a great project as far as alleviating traffic. Traffic had been almost to a standstill until that project was completed. Efforts were also made to further progress the Skiffs Creek connector as it was finally placed in VDOT's six-year transportation improvement plan. The proposed road will connect the Grove area to Interstate 64. That will be tremendous for the Grove area and relieving transportation needs in that area. It'll open up commerce, it'll open up industrial areas, it'll open up traffic flow, a total of nine transportation projects were completed in FY16 to further improve traffic flow, safety, and eligibility for state maintenance. James City County continued to offer an endless supply of family fun and programs through Parks and Recreation. The James City County Recreation Center is a state-of-the-art facility that has something for everyone. In FY16, we saw a 7% increase of our parks and recreation facilities and events. For instance, we're standing in the James City County Recreation Center where we offer swimming, racquetball, workout facilities. We also have a lounge for seniors that saw a 50% increase in usage this past year. Total attendance at James City County parks, programs, events, and facilities grew 7% to 3.5 million people in FY 2016. This past year, we had 230 households receive financial discounts in order to participate in our parks and rec programs and events. Jamestown Beach Event Park is responsible for a large portion of visitors each year to James City County parks. Its popularity called for improvements and expansion to maintain and enhance its reputable quality. Our beautiful Jamestown Beach Event Park is a very special place here in James City County. It not only attracts many of our citizens, but also visitors when they come to visit the area. We have made some improvements in parking down by the beach area. And then down in the event area, we've added power and made some improvements so that we are hopefully able to offer some more events, such as concerts. As the Jamestown Beach Event Park continues to meet the demands of residents and visitors, so does the business community. The county welcomed new and expanded businesses in FY16. We also had significant business investment, for example, in Print Pack, Moju, and breaking ground at Jacobs Industrial Park. The James City County business community continued to grow in fiscal year 2016. The Office of Economic Development held 16 ribbon cuttings for new businesses, welcoming them to the ever-growing James City County family. 
every business in James City County is an asset to the community. The Captain John Smith Award is an award given annually by the Board of Supervisors and the Economic Development Authority to recognize outstanding contributions to the business community. This year's recipient was Owens, Illinois, a company that has been here in James City County since 1980, and they have continued to make significant capital investments in their facility here in James City County. The county's location puts certain areas at higher risk of storm runoff and water quality concerns. There are 15 neighborhoods that received grants from the county to work on stormwater improvements in their own neighborhoods. Those are grants that are matched 50-50 by the Neighborhood Association and the county. There was a total of six completed stormwater facility construction projects that helped improve water quality, protect citizens and property, and upgrade antiquated water treatment systems. We're also investing very heavily in some major projects, and this year I think we spent about $2 million on that, about one6 from county funds and 400000 or so from state funds, designed to approach some more significant concerns and problems that uh, the county has to address. We had to fix the roof of the uh, recreation center on Long Hill Road, and fixing that allowed us to better treat the runoff from that very large rooftop uh, so that the water coming off the recreation center doesn't contribute to erosion or to pollution down the line. We replaced an existing fire station with a brand new building and as we did that we made sure to acquire enough property to be able to handle the increased runoff that would occur on that larger footprint provided by that public facility. As our population increases, so too does the demand for public safety. Our police and fire departments work around the clock to properly serve the needs of the citizens. In fiscal year 16, fire and police received over 32,000 calls for services combined, a 6% increase over fiscal year 15. The fire department received more medical emergency calls in FY16, but had a decrease in total number of fires. The police department had a 6% increase in total calls for service. The county values the services provided by our first responders. To support them, as well as to enhance the safety of the county, investments were made to upgrade facilities and technology. Fire Station 4 on Old Town Road opened for service in July of 2015. The new 14,400 square foot facility replaced the original station that had been in service for 35 years. The facility is designed to serve the community well into the future, including expanded sleeping areas that will accommodate additional personnel, larger kitchen facilities, physical fitness training room, and apparatus bay to house additional vehicles. We're very excited about Station 1 in Tuana, which provides much needed facility improvements for our first responders. The citizens in the Stonehouse District and all of James City County respect and appreciate those who put their lives on the line to help and protect us. The police department implemented a lethality assessment program. It identifies the victims of domestic violence who are most at risk of death, serious bodily injury, or sexual assault. 91 victims completed the assessment since it began in December 2015. The James City County Police Department has tested and evaluated numerous body-worn camera systems in an attempt to increase transparency and accountability and further improve community relations. Body cameras are being used throughout the Operations Division and School Resource Unit. This past year, the James City County Board of Supervisors began developing a plan to identify the community's priorities and draft strategies to achieve these goals. James City County has no shortage of great ideas and opportunities. Over the past year, the Board of Supervisors, working with county leadership and citizens from our county and the community, have started to work on a strategic planning process to create a guiding document and an action plan for the future of our county for the next 20 years. We had a public community meeting here at Legacy Hall where we invited James City County citizens to come in, learn about the strategic plan, 
what it is and what the process involves and most importantly to give them an opportunity to provide input into the strategic planning process. Efforts to remain transparent and encourage citizen involvement continued in FY16 with over 120 public meetings and events held for citizens to help shape the future of their community. James City County and the Greater Williamsburg area are one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country due to its rich history, beautiful landscapes, and family-friendly attractions. James City County is actively involved in regional tourism, primarily through our partnerships with the Chamber and Tourism Alliance and the Williamsburg Area Destination Marketing Committee. We have worked to develop many exciting events and reasons for people to come here. One of the most successful we've had this year was Bountiful Brews and Bites. That was part of the Harvest Celebration. as well as we continue to develop opportunities at Jamestown Beach, the Jamestown Marina, and working with other partners such as Bush Gardens to create many, many exciting reasons to come to James City County specifically. The county's scenic landscape and location make it an ideal area for outdoor sporting events. James City County hosted three triathlons in fiscal year 2016, which attracted more than 2,000 athletes, families, and friends. Our elected officials, staff, and citizens all work together as a team to address the future needs of our county. Success follows hard work. It has been a great year for our team at James City County. We have won eight new national and state awards. The Communications Department has won four Tele Awards in the categories of Government Relation and Videography. They also have won the 2016 Gold Screen Award of Excellence. Parks and Recreation has won two state awards. Freedom Parks Multi-Use Trail Number 3, designated a Virginia treasure by the state, as well as Get Rec Campaign, which was provided by the Virginia Recreation and Park Society, presented Best Promotional Effort Specialty Award in our population category. The James City County Police Department was a national award winner for outstanding participation in the National Night Out. James City County strives to innovate and increase transparency. The James City County website was completely overhauled to provide an all new look and personalized features for its users. The site is now mobile friendly, allowing users to find a public event, search for a board meeting, or pay a bill anytime, anywhere. The new features have resulted in a significant increase in website traffic, averaging about 4,600 page views a day. The number of engagements on the county's social media platforms also saw an increase in FY16. James City County increased efforts to maintain the appearance people expect and enjoy, whether it's for visitors or residents. I think we've made incredible progress with county appearance. The Clean County Commission as well as VDOT has stepped up to ensure that our roadways are clean, safe and visible for all motorists. Just as important as appearance, the county continued its commitment to energy conservation. In FY 2016, energy use at all facilities was down 5.4% from FY 2015. The quality of life in James City County remains high and attracts more residents each year. Several programs offered by the county educated and assisted many households in turning their house into a home. A housing condition study was conducted to obtain information on cost burden households spending over 30% and 50% of their income strictly on housing costs. County staff will take future actions to address these concerns. Although there was an 8% increase in Medicaid enrollees, there were decreases in the number of children in foster care and SNAP customers.
Strong fiscal management and responsible budgeting practices allow James City County to provide a desired quality of life for residents and an enjoyable place to experience for visitors. As a result, the National Credit Rating Agency, Moody's, upgraded the county's bond rating to a triple A. Moody's cited several factors playing roles in the increased bond rating. James City County is one of nine in the Commonwealth of Virginia, one of 44 in the United States of America out of 3,155 communities. James City County is also the smallest population, being the only triple triple A community with a population under 100,000. Highlight of FY16 would probably be James City County achieving the triple triple A. Our triple triple bond rating. An improved credit rating. By the three national credit rating agencies. Each of the three have given us a triple A or their highest possible rating. It gives us the ability to keep things as low as possible and pay for things as we go. To borrow money when needed for long-term capital projects at a lower cost. Which is significant for not only the county, but for our taxpayers as well. We got ourselves on a very sound financial footing after a very difficult time getting through the Great Recession. Another highlight is the formation of the School Liaison Committee. We're working together with the City of Williamsburg and Williamsburg James City County Schools to achieve the upcoming goals set before us. We need to look for increased opportunities to work with our partners on ways that we can plan for the future needs of our students and their staff. We know that we're growing and what's the best way to address that in ways of facilities. I would like to thank the staff as well as all the community members that got involved in helping James City County move forward in 2016. I travel around the state of Virginia doing other jobs and see other communities. And they're great communities, but it's amazing to come home to James City County and look at what we're doing in order to help our citizens and our community move forward.